More than a thousand students worldwide are participating in an international robotics competition held in Singapore. Among them are youths looking to pursue a career in STEM. One such student, as Clara Lee finds out, is already taking steps towards that goal. This Korea drone helped deliver medical supplies during the COVID-19 pandemic. It's the brainchild of 17-year-old Nahal Wadwani, who helped the project's programming team. Now, she's leading a new team of students to clinch a win at this international robotics tournament. Besides a victory, Ms. Wadwani has also set her sights on attending the Massachusetts Institute of Technology and pursuing a career in STEM. She hopes the insights from Jeff Tinson, who's a health tech entrepreneur, can give her a glimpse into the future of the industry. So what advice would you give to young aspiring engineers, particularly those who want to go into biomedical engineering? I think the advice I would give uh, to you would be to understand your why. Why are you doing this? What, what is driving you to go into bioengineering or biomedical engineering? So what was your why? What inspired you to join this career? The most inspiring thing for me is the ability to invest in people like you. Very talented, smart people who are trying to bring their skills and talents to the marketplace to invent and develop new innovations that improve human health. So what steps would you suggest young teenagers looking to be engineers or going into these fields do? The things that you should do are already the things that you're doing right now. Uh, you know, first of all, set your your uh, aspirations very high. Try to get into the best schools that you can. Try to make as many uh, connections through your network as possible. And now, Nahal says she's aiming to learn more from her peers and other industry experts at this tournament as she generates ideas and gathers inspiration for her next project. The first global challenge is not just about who ultimately wins the robotics competition, despite the intense rivalry generated from their competitive spirit. Participants also took part in activities promoting cultural exchanges and understanding. And these are helping them to forge lasting friendships. That thumping drumbeat of the lion dancers signaled the opening of the competition at Singapore Expo. Traditional dances of the various ethnic groups in Singapore followed. That showcase of local culture sets the tone. Organizers want the four-day event to be not just about putting robots through their paces in competition. It's also a platform promoting cultural exchange and understanding. And there were plenty of opportunities for the young participants from about 190 countries to do so. From putting on traditional costumes for the gala dinner to sampling local delicacies like laksa and prata and showing off their groovy moves. Some found Singapore fascinating. Singapore is really a nice country with a lot of um, buildings, great designs. Um, there's a lot of nature, like beautiful forests. Technology is advanced, which is a really cool thing, actually. But for most, it's the new friendships forged. From the friendships, we get to learn the culture of these of these people. Like it's like visiting this country without actually going to them because we get to connect with them in another level. So it's just amazing. I feel the world is uh, very spread, and also uh, the, everybody uh, is so kind. What we enjoy the most is uh, the cultural exchange we get here. The, like we feel like we are connected to the whole world. Many gave out souvenirs like these badges as a symbol of those newfound friendships. While only one team may emerge robotics champion this year, the camaraderie and bonds beyond borders will be remembered forever. <laughs>